It was the exciting final matchup of the season last month. <laughs> between Pennsylvania's Coatesville High Varsity and the Avon Grove Red Devils, the team Gavin Picard plays for. Just days before, he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer impacting part of the immune system. His father was there in the stands. That night at Coatesville was, quite honestly, one of the most emotional nights I've experienced on a football field, and quite frankly, maybe in my life. So tell me about that last game. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we did lose the game, but... That the end when they surprised me, that was that was really heartwarming. And that'll be the ball game. Here's what happened just as the game ended. Take a look at this near the bottom of your screen. It's Gavin's rivals from Coatesville carrying green balloons across the 50 yard line. You can see them heading over to his team. Keep your eye on Gavin. He's number six in the red hoodie. His competitors just moments ago. Oh my God! Now surrounding him. Oh, thank you. And embracing him. There were hugs from players and coaches alike. It felt like they were my team and my team that I've been playing with for years. Yeah, that, that night was just really special for everybody. I hugged one of the coaches and they said to me, we know Avon Grove has his back, but we've got, we're right behind them. It was such a special moment. I've not seen sportsmanship like that ever. I was very impressed. Amanda Ashby is with the rival team's booster club. She helped organize the surprise. There wasn't a dry eye in the stadium. Um, and standing in the middle of all of it, just listening to teenage boys give words of encouragement and well wishes to another teenage boy, it was incredible. Gavin has now lost his hair from treatment, but that moment is still helping him through. It just, it made me, uh, made me tear up and... Uh, it was just it just made my month and made it all all feel better. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.